This group of students at a New York Funeral Services Academy reflect the changing face of the industry. Most of them are women. Everybody asks me, they're like, oh, you, you like dead bodies? Nobody likes dead bodies, you know? But um, it's really, I'm here to help people. The students say the influx of women will make the industry better. You cannot never understand how a person truly feels, but you can always let them know that you're there and that um, if they need someone to go through it with them, you're there where men, they get the job done. And that, that sounds cruel, but that's just my observation. At this New York campus, students learn the ins and outs of the industry, including skills like making funeral masks that morticians can use to rebuild faces damaged by disease or trauma. 65% of graduates from funeral services programs are now women. But change is slow to come. 74% of all funeral homes are still run by men. And women who do run funeral homes say some people are still hesitant to work with them. I did have a family come in and say they didn't want any female funeral directors at running their funeral. And you know, you can respect those wishes and that's fine and I understand that's how the older generation was. But some, like Professor David Pennipent, say funeral home owners must change with the times if they are to survive. If this profession's going to survive, we as a profession need to embrace women in this profession because if we don't embrace women in this profession the next generation that takes over the profession is not going to be there and as a result of that the profession within itself will collapse another example of how women are changing the face and tenor of industries worldwide kevin enix voa news